We've had a very busy week at the Royal Welsh Show and a very successful one. We opened our new pavilion and have had lots of visitors coming to see us to talk about new courses, uh, new opportunities for short courses, links with industry and so on. So it's been a great uh, week and a very productive one. One of the other things that we've done during the week is to sponsor the Fitzhugh Dairy Championship, which is a great occasion, I think, for the dairy sector, and one where we're able to share in the success of the winners in the Grand Parade, which is held in the main ring at the Royal Welsh Show, uh, and present the trophy to the award winners. Fantastic occasion, and lots of people, and fantastic uh, uh, livestock there for us all to see. Uh, another thing we've done is to welcome back our alumni to a reception. We've had lots of prospective students on the stand and their parents finding out about our courses and uh, at a lunch that we ran during the course of the week uh, and all told it's been a really busy time and a very hot Royal Welsh show but one that we've greatly enjoyed. I think the pavilion has brought with it new opportunities for us to expand our activities at the Royal Welsh show and really support what the society here is trying to do and that's to encourage young people particularly to think about careers in the food and farming sector. So we're delighted to have taken on that opportunity and to have made the best of it, we think, in a very busy Royal Welsh Show week. It's a huge privilege for me, in the name of the Royal Welsh Agricultural Society, to be here today on a landmark occasion, not just for you as a great institution of furtherance of education within the whole gambit of agriculture and all that is rural, but also for the Royal Welsh Agricultural Society, because possibly some of you will not be aware that this building has a significant, great significance as far as the real estate of the show is concerned. This is one of the very first buildings that was built here on the permanency of Llanelwyr here at the estate, which has been around us now for 51 years. We are very proud to be associated with one of the success stories of the furtherance of skills and education within all that is rural, all that is agriculture. We've just recently, in the last half an hour, been bestowing the great honour of Harper Cymru student uh, on, the, on an individual in the name of the society and indeed of the university. That actually captures the commitment that is enshrined in the partnership that exists between us. My name is Andrew Price and I'm a TV presenter so I present a programme called Coast and Country for ITV Wales and of course I've done the commercial for Harper Adams. Um, my other job is teaching bushcraft and survival skills. It's something I do through my company Dryad Bushcraft, uh, which I started in 2004. Well, I'm actually here with ITV Wales as part of the Coast and Country programme and uh, we've been doing everything from climbing an enormous 80 foot poles to uh, chainsaw carving, so uh, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, seeing the Harper Adams building is just around the corner from the ITV building, it's been a real treat as well. So um, I think it's great that you've got a, a permanent presence here now and it, it sort of brings Harper into Wales um, and we're hopefully going to get you involved with Coast and Country at some point as well.